welcome to the channel again it's another early one so today i'm just on the outskirts of walton gardens just outside of warrington and i've come to um try and poach a shot So I want to poach an image today. It's an image I've seen posted a number of times on Facebook and it's an image of the church. This is just over to my left there and where the church is is a tree that sort of arches over in the foreground but it looks as if it arches over the church in these images. I've seen it done it a few different ways and I just want to put my own spin on it. So uh, yeah, come and join me. The only problem is I have no idea where this uh, image is taken from. I'm just having a quick walk around now the church. Um, and the, you've got the church and there's also a crematorium further down the, uh, down the road. So, um, yeah, wish me luck on this one. So as I say, it's another early one this morning. Um, it's currently about, in uh, fact, yeah, 10 to 5. So uh, yeah, I've done quite well to get here uh, this morning. Um, it's quite a bit of a damp morning, but it's really quite warm. The sun's not risen yet. That's gonna take another, uh, I think it's about another 20 minutes or so before the sun actually starts to rise. Uh, so I've got a bit of time just to play around with the location, try and work out composition. And yeah, just try and nail this, uh, this one shot. Yeah, see what we can do. So I'm just currently trying to work out a bit of a composition here. Now the, sp the spire of the church just sort of touches the, the top of the trees. I'm trying to trying to get the perfect balance to uh, try and just sort of separate just a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's proving quite difficult from here. But uh, yeah, I'm not giving up. So um, yeah, let's let's keep working it. So trying to be as respectful as I can around this location. This meadow that um, was all around um, looks as if it's quite a common thing for uh, for people to spread ashes um, and not around here. So yeah, just trying to be a little bit more respectful um, than I normally would in a location, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite limited of what I can get here. Um, but I, I've had a quick walk around and I've had a look at the uh, the location and I don't think there's much more of a composition I can actually go for. So it might just be the, the one shot I'm looking at here. So it's just a case of waiting now for the sun rise to happen uh, and yeah just sort of yeah well, i say just waiting really i suppose for the uh, for these the sun to hit the church so i'm not sure if it's going to be the sunrise i was hoping for there's not a cloud in the sky now the weather uh, forecast did say it was going to be quite cloudy and sunny as well which for my images that's what i really like a, a good bit of cloud and a good bit of sun hitting that as well just sort of igniting but um no i don't think it's going to uh, be that sort of uh, weather conditions this morning so i'm just going to work with what i've got here and i don't know it might be one to come back to um it may also be better on a sunset rather than a sunrise just uh, with the position of the tree and then where the church is but um yeah i'll see what it's like at the uh, at the end of this vlog and uh, yeah let me know what you think being out here at five o'clock in the morning really does have its perks now i know it's a little bit easier for me because i've just finished work and uh, yeah i'm gonna go home and go to bed after this but um yeah if you can i know the summer's always quite difficult to try and get up early um to try and get the sunrise but to actually be out on location just before the sunrise hits you can't beat it it's absolutely glorious feeling to be here now just sort of soaking it all up i can hear a couple of cars in the background there's a main expressway behind you now um but yeah being out here just sort of soaking in the nature i've got bunny rabbits or hares running around um just wildlife in the background you can hear all the birds in the background just sort of tweeting away it's just you can't beat it I've been to Walton Gardens a number of times in my life and I've never actually ventured this far down. Now, granted it is a crematorium, granted it in a churchyard, etc. And so I'd probably never really thought about it. Um, but yeah, it was just this image that's really drawn me down here to try and get this image this morning. Um, and I'm really glad I've done it because it's actually quite beautiful. It's actually quite p um, peaceful. Just sort of being here in a graveyard by myself. Am I mad? <laughs> So 
So I'm just taking a little bit of time out and uh, yeah, just chilling on this uh, on this park bench. I've had a look around the location. There's only one or two um, compositions that can probably work. So I'm just sort of waiting for the uh, sunlight to uh, to hit the, the church now. Um, ideally, that's what I'm looking for. There's a little bit of cloud starting to build up in the distance. Maybe that will start to ignite. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, we'll soon find out. So on my last vlog, I had a couple of issues with um, suddenly this camera with the breaking the microphone um, connection on, on the top, which has been ordered, there'll be another, another one in the next couple of days. Um, but it also had some issues with the DA10. It didn't didn't want to take any images. As soon as I pressed the trigger button, it, it, it focuses start hunting in and out, and it just wouldn't take the image at all. I really had to press the button quite, uh, quite strong. And then probably after about five or six seconds, it would take the image, quite frustrating. Thought nothing of it. And then a couple of days later, I went to Formby Beach to take a a couple of images there and it just it just did exactly the same so i'm gonna to have to send the, the d810 off so i'm currently shooting today on the nikon d7200 which i've really not got an issue with because i absolutely love this camera the d7200 has been the the sort of backbone for my photography it's the one that i started with it's the one i've sort of pushed through in photography with and yeah it's really sort of got me to where I am today. So yeah, if it wasn't for this camera, I don't know what I'd be doing. And it really makes me think actually, is the D810 repairable? Is it one of those things I'm gonna be able to get, actually get repaired? So sort of my mind's sort of floating around really, what do I do? Do I upgrade or do I just stick to the D7200? What what do I do? I've been toying with the idea, is it worth getting the D810 fixed, get it fixed, then get it sold, or upgrade to a D850, even maybe go onto the mirrorless cameras, the Z6, or the Z7, I don't know. I'm sort of undecided at the minute, but I'm actually really enjoying using the uh, 7200, the old faithful camera. It's always been there for me. It's absolutely great to use. It's great to go back. The only problem I've got with it is the buttons are slightly different. So trying to get out there and sort of change the settings quickly, it's just taking a little bit longer. So let me know in the comments what you'll do. Is it worth getting the DA10 repaired? Do I sell it on? Do I go for a new camera? What would you do? So you can probably tell just in the distance there, the light's just starting to uh, to hit the uh, the spire of the church. I'm going to concentrate now, just get a couple of images. Now that cloud that was starting to build up has sort of vanished, so I'm just going to work with what I've got. So I've completely lost the light. There's a big bank of cloud that's just moved across in front of the sun. So I've currently got no light at all on the church. And I've taken as, probably as many images as I can whilst the light was just sort of shining on it. So it's probably time to finish this vlog here. So from Walton Gardens, it's probably time to say goodbye. Um, I will be returning back to this location though for a sunset image. I'm not sure if I'll do a vlog from here. I don't know if it's big enough to do, actually do another vlog. Uh, but yeah, I will be returning back to uh, to do a sunset just to sort of see what I can get with the, uh, with the, the sun setting behind the, the church. If you enjoyed this vlog and haven't done so already, please consider 
for subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board of the channel. If you like this video as well, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So from Walton Gardens on this uh, unglorious fresh morning, it's probably time to say goodbye. Take care, all the best. Bye-bye now. Thank you.